I need a palate cleanser. Yeah, me too. Where are the palate cleansers? Hey guys, my name is Scott. I am a Tasty producer and we are here at Tasty in New York. We do a lot of different stuff with ice cream at Tasty. It's in a lot of our videos, but we've never gone and done proper homemade with it. I want to put a couple different recipes to the test to see which one is most worth the effort. Let's find out. So I'm making a three ingredient ice cream, then I'm gonna make a more involved homemade custard based ice cream that requires an ice cream maker. And then we'll put those two homemade options against a store-bought version and we'll see which one's tastiest. Three ingredient ice cream is something we've done a lot on Tasty. It's a really fast, easy, and delicious way to make ice cream, which doesn't require any special tools or equipment. Maybe a hand mixer, but if you're feeling super strong, you could just use a whisk. Pretty much all you need is just a can of sweetened condensed milk and some heavy whipping cream, and then whatever mix-ins you want from there. Wow. I might want to already call it. I don't know that you need to do much more than this if you want good homemade chocolate ice cream. But let me get it in the freezer. Uh, we'll finish this up and go on to the next one. So the custard ice cream was something I really was excited to try. It's something I've never done before, but it's one of those things I've always wondered like how it's made. So I saw this as a really fun challenge. It's definitely a lot more involved and there was a lot more trial and error and just way higher opportunity for things to go wrong. I ended up buying a couple different ice cream makers to see which one would work best. And my early tests really didn't turn out so well for me, the ice cream or my apartment. But after a few more goes, I think I finally got it down. Something I really appreciate about both the three ingredient ice cream and the custard ice cream is just the opportunity to customize it. I like a really dark, rich chocolate flavor, so I made sure to buy and use like a nice bittersweet chocolate in this recipe. I mean, it, certainly you can buy your favorite ice cream, but if you make it, you can really make it your favorite. Standing here watching the custard transform in the ice cream maker after all the work that went into it, it's so satisfying. But ultimately, it all comes down to taste. First of all, what are your credentials? I'm Claire and I'm head of culinary and tasty. Uh, ice cream is my favorite dessert, so is that a qualification? I think it is. Because of my current diet, I eat ice cream every single morning for breakfast. It's ice cream for breakfast every day? What? I don't know. Two are homemade with two different techniques and one is store-bought. Yeah. Okay. It's very rich. Mm. It's really, really good. It's very rich. That's really good. Number two. Texture is pretty similar, to be honest. I don't like this one as much as that one. That one was like unique and different. This is like, I've had this before. That tastes like store-bought ice cream. I like this one because it's very creamy, but not as rich. I like the flavor of this one better. It tastes fancy. It's good. This one's really rich. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's so thick. If I had to guess, I would say that's the custard-based one. Like, I'd rather have less of something, but have it taste better and have a better texture. That's what I mean by rich. Like, it's indulgent, it tastes really great, it's got, like, a great mouthfeel. Yeah, I think these two are just a little too similar for me to even care about the differences. I definitely like the taste of this one more just because it wasn't as rich. The middle one. Nope. To be honest, I couldn't taste a huge difference between these two. This one had a more chocolatey flavor, which I liked, but this one has, like, the best texture and flavor of all of them. Homemade ice cream is just better. I like the homemade ones better than the store-bought ones. I mean, yeah, I would definitely feel like this is worth making. It's so good. So I wouldn't go out of my way to make the custard one, which I know is way more involved and needs an ice cream maker, right? Obviously, there's the price difference. Like, having to buy your own ice cream maker and being able to store it is not something that everyone has the luxury of doing. I think the advantage of making your own ice cream is that you can customize it as much as you want. I totally would have put chilies in this, and then I would have finished it. I'm still going to finish it. 
Overall for me, the two homemade versions are like the standout. This custard one is probably the best ice cream I've ever had. I like a very rich, very chocolatey ice cream. The three ingredient really lends itself well to just customization. It's a really rich, creamy texture that holds up well when put against a store-bought or a more uh, involved homemade ice cream recipe. But overall, ice cream's great. You should make it. If you buy it, it's great too. <laughs> cool.